Davis, you opened your case today because you are furious that the defendant acknowledges your older child, London, yet denies paternity of your two-month-old daughter, Paris, and does nothing for her. You claim he needs to step up once you prove that he is Paris's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Johnson, you testify that the plaintiff is a liar and a cheater who knows you are not her child's father and that this is just a ploy to keep you in her life. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so I want to start with you, Ms. Amos. You say he does nothing for Paris. He absolutely does. Loopley does nothing, nothing at all. Explain. No pampers, I mean, no, no, no milk. I can get him to do nothing. He don't even acknowledge the fact that my baby is a possibility to be his. He acknowledge her at all. Like, she don't exist, period. So, wait a minute. You have an older child together, London. Correct. He does stuff for that baby. A little. But he does nothing for... Paris. Absolutely nothing. I have my serious doubt that the baby's not mine. I done seen text messages in her phone from other guys saying, is you coming with me again tonight? I enjoyed myself. His name saved under a female name. So are you all in a relationship? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. But at the time Paris was conceived, you were? Yes. Now, Ms. Amos... You were supposed to be in a relationship with Mr. Johnson. That's correct. You find out you're pregnant, and then what happens? You tell him? Yes, yes, ma'am. He instantly denied my baby when I first... when I first told him that, um, you know, that I was pregnant with, um, Paris. He was like, um, well... (sighs) He wasn't there for me through my pregnancy, um... And it's heartbreaking for you. It's very heartbreaking to me to deny something so precious like that. Well, take me to the moment that you told him you were pregnant, because that should be a happy moment, too. Oh, the day I told him that I was pregnant, he was, um, he was laying on the couch. I went to the store. I had got a pregnancy test. I took the test. Uh, you know, I kind of briefly sat in the bathroom and I cried, because at that moment, you know, it was kind of hard on me, you know, um you know, trying to deal with another child. So, as I walked out the bathroom, he was laying on the couch. You know, I went up to him, I showed him the pregnancy test. He looked at me and he was like, it ain't mine. Instantly. Because she's a cheater. (laughs) You a cheater. You know, he wasn't ever home. And I have had my doubts and suspicions and I have, you know, caught him doing stuff. So, you know, at the moment, I'm hurt. So, I'm doing... I'm doing these things, you know, out of emotions, you know? You playing the tit-for-tat game, he's doing it so I can do it too. And you are having sex with somebody else during the time when you're having sex with Mr. Johnson. I was. All right. So, let me see the next part of this timeline. You say, Mr. Johnson, she announces the pregnancy. She told me she's pregnant. When I told him that I was pregnant, um, of, of course, I was already having sex with him. We was already intimate or whatever. I had just recently, before I told him I was... Before I found out I was pregnant, I was just recently, you know, messing with someone. It ain't like I just been messing with this guy or So, whatever. you so, say that you were not sleeping with this other guy during the window of conception? Right. When Paris was conceived? Right, That's right. your testimony? Right. So, Ms. Amos, what I don't understand is, why are you so sure Mr. Johnson is... Paris' biological father when you are admitting in court right now that I was sleeping with somebody else three or four times a week. I mean, me and the other guy, we we had unprotected sex, but, you know, majority of the time we was, you know, using, you know, uh, you know... A condom? Yes, ma'am. And... When I told Gary that I was pregnant, I was not no three, four months pregnant. I just had found out I was pregnant. Like I told you, man, that guy recently just had started messing around. He's lying. I never was messing with that guy. I never was messing with that guy for no six months. He's lying. He's trying to make himself look good. But you said... But you said the majority of the time. Majority of the time after the fact, after, you know, that I found out I was pregnant with Paris. Of course I was. I'm not gonna lie. I got feelings like I told you. He wasn't at home. He was instantly denying my baby. So, yeah, okay, yeah. I was steady messing with the other guy. I was. But I was 100% sure. I mean, this is who I was with every night, every day. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, we was having a lot of unprotected sex. Of course you're gonna be with me every day every night. Because we stayed together. We've been having unprotected sex for three years. So, let me ask you something. 
Did you tell this other guy I'm pregnant and this might be your baby? No, I never mentioned it to the other guy. So to this day, that guy has no clue. He don't even know Perrys exist. Please state your name to the court. Leah Bullock. Ms. Bullock, thank you for joining us today. What is your relationship with the plaintiff? Uh, over the years, me and Kaya have become very close. We met through Gary. He's my first cousin. All right. So now, do you think your cousin, Mr. Johnson, is Paris's biological father? Absolutely. She looks just like his other two kids. So you have no doubt. That's just me. I mean, the information that she gave today, that was new to me. So, of course, I would have a doubt, but... You know what I'm saying? She looks just like the oh, others. Oh, you got some new info today, too. <laughs> what was the new part? <laughs> About the whole, you know, sleeping with two people around the same time that Paris was conceived. Okay. Mr. Johnson, you also brought a witness. <clears throat> Please stand, ma'am. State your name for the court. My name is Antoinette Johnson. Hi, Ms. Johnson. What is your relationship to the defendant? This is my little brother. Your brother testified that you witnessed Ms. Amos with other guys. I did. You don't, she, she don't and, know who I know. And not only that, she told me her own mouth, this is not your brother's baby. I told him he can go on. Oh. So, see, the thing... When was, did she tell you that? When she was pregnant. And that was enough for me. If someone says that out their mouth, I don't need to hear anything else. And so that's where I was going. I was like, okay, you know, that's not his baby. She said it herself. So you are not what that. it does. I said that. And the reason why, why? I said why? that was because it was in the heat, you know, it was in the heat of the moment. We, was, ar that. we was arguing, we was into it. But there are like one million other things you could say. Exactly. exactly. But why say that? I and mean, then turn around true. the next day and want to go, no, it is your baby and you should believe me. They're done! Yeah. Miss Amos, Mr. Johnson's sister has stated that she has doubts about London as well as Paris. Does she have reason to doubt? She don't... <clears throat> she don't have any reason to doubt that, um... London is... is, is his child. She, she never cared for me. Miss Amos... You know, I study a lot of body language in this courtroom. That's what I do. Right. There was a tensing of your body when, before you delivered that answer. Is there even the slightest question about London's paternity? It is. So you were having sex with somebody else? I was. During the time you found out you were pregnant with London? I was. And there is a paternity question surrounding that child as well? Correct. Is it the same man you were sleeping with during the time Paris was conceived? No. It is not? No. So it's a different guy? Yes. I want to give you one more chance to answer. I saw your body language. You delivered the answer, then your head went down. You can tell the truth. I can't get you the answers unless you tell me the truth so we know what we need to do. Was it the same guy? Yes. Okay. Mr. Johnson, now that you've heard this, this is news to you. I could tell when she admitted to the yes that that was news to you as it related to London. Yes. How are you feeling in this moment? I mean... I kind of feel hurt. You say you feel hurt? Mm-hmm. Because you felt like what? That they were my baby, and I didn't feel like she was cheating at the time with London. So at that time, you really had no real clues that she was sleeping with anybody else? That's right. But your sister has been honest today. Yes. And I presume she's been honest with you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have. So your sister has told you that, bro, I don't think either one. I think there's a question on both. But you just didn't want to hear it. That's right. And like you said, that's your road dog. Mm -hmm. And who wants to believe that about their little road dog? <laughs> Nobody. Right. How extensive was your relationship with this other man during the window of conception when London was conceived? You seemed pretty certain that there was a question. Were you with him quite it was, often? It was pretty much a relationship. 
it was pretty much a relationship. Yes. That you were having outside of the relationship you had with Mr. Johnson. Yes, I've been actually knowing him before I met him. Has the other guy, has this other person, has he ever met London? Yeah. He met her. When he saw her, did he say anything to the effect that he believes he may be her biological father? No, he, he, he never thought that he was the father. He, 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 he have seen a picture of Gary before. He have said, yeah, she, she looks like him, you know? So she, he feels like she looks like Mr. Johnson. Right. When's the last time you were intimate with that man? Maybe around two months ago. So just two months ago. It was I, right around when Paris was born? Yeah, maybe, a, yeah. In the case of Amos versus Johnson Jr., when it comes to two-month-old Paris Johnson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Johnson, you are the father. Woo! Paris is your little girl. How do you feel? Feel some relief. Some relief? Mm-hmm. I'm still nervous. You're still nervous? Because this next result is for London, and this is the baby you've built the biggest bond with. That's my road dog. And you never had doubt before our last hearing? No. In the case of Amos versus Johnson Jr., when it comes to 15-month-old London Johnson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Johnson, you are the father. Both of those beautiful little babies are yours. <laughs> How does that feel? I'm happy now. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach didn't stop moving. <laughs> How do you feel, Ms. Amos? I'm happy he's the father, but I feel like our relationship can't be worked on, can't be replaced. He don't want me. He's not in love with me. And I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna learn from that. This is difficult. Mm -hmm. You say you want the relationship, but unfortunately, due to the testimony that we heard today, Mr. Johnson says he really doesn't have any interest in having the relationship anymore. But regardless, you have two beautiful children. You gotta learn how to have some type of relationship. And I don't mean a sexual one. You're gonna have to learn how to parent the children together. You all need to figure out just how to appreciate each other as friends, as co-parents, and figure that out before you try to figure the relationship part out. And if this other guy doesn't want nothing to do with the children and you just got him hanging on to be a safety net, Miss Amos, you deserve to be somebody's commitment, not somebody's comfort and convenience or just a companion. 